we are doing something huge to our Tesla that's going to change the way it looks, possibly forever. We've done a lot of pretty big upgrades to our Tesla, but this is easily going to be one of the biggest changes we've ever made. We are here at Menards Premium Detailing. It's like being a kid in a candy store. The cars that are always here are just unbelievable. If you've watched our PPF video before, which I'll go ahead and put a link to that right here, we have front PPF only, meaning the PPF that we have on our car, in other words, known as paint protection film, is only on the front part of the car. It's on the hood, it's on the bumper, it is on the headlights and the fog lights, and then it's also on the fenders and the, the back of the mirrors as well. Today, we are having the entire car PPF. They're gonna pull off the old stuff. They're gonna redo the entire car, but Grant has special PPF where you could change the color of your car if you wanted to through PPF. We're gonna change the color a little bit. Now, now we're not going too crazy, but it is gonna look a little different. Now, let's talk about PPF because I feel like this is kind of a highly debated topic in the Tesla world. Now look, my personal opinion on the PPF topic. Yes, PPF is expensive. It's very labor intensive. I mean, you'll see, we're gonna show you kind of the steps that they go through in order to apply PPF the proper way, but it's very intensive. This is going to be a week long process where Grant and his team are gonna be working on our car every day for an entire week. So yes, it is an expensive process. This isn't like a $100 fix, but the main purpose of paint protection film in its name, to protect. It's designed to protect the condition of the car. It preserves that pristine paint that's underneath. When cars come out of the factory, they come with a clear coat. That clear coat is supposed to put a protective layer over that paint. Teslas, unfortunately, are known for not having the best clear coats out there. And little rocks and chips, when they come up on the road, which they come up all the time, just on any road that surface that you drive on, they're going to nick the paint, particularly on the front end, kind of what we know as the bug cemetery, right? Same thing with the rear fenders. We all know those rear fenders, they flare out and you could have the same problem there too. The nice thing about PPF is that it's self-healing. So if something hits it, you leave it out in the sun and it heals itself and it looks great. But to give you proof that things like this do happen, let me show you what happened to us. We had a big enough stone that got thrown up at our car at some point when we were driving that it actually ripped the PPF itself. Look, look at this. This has actually been here for a very long time. Now our, our, our car is very dirty. We are fresh off of our road trip. This little bubble right here has been a complete tear, but underneath our car still looks like brand new because the PPF did its job. Now, whether or not PPF is worthwhile or not, that's entirely up to you. If you have the funds to do it, it's the best way to protect your investment. If you're looking to keep your Tesla long term and you want to keep it in great shape so its resale value is as best as it can be, then I think PPF is a good investment. But if you don't have the funds, and trust me, I understand not everybody has the funds to do a project like this to their car, then there are some other cheaper solutions that you can do that will help with that. It's just not going to keep it in the pristine condition that PPF well. Things like mud flaps, things like smaller PPF pieces that only protect a certain area of the car, such as Tesla makes ones that go on the rear quarter of your rear doors. For us, we plan on keeping our Model Y for as long as possible. I mean, don't get me wrong, Michelle has definitely been drooling and, and eyeing up a Model X, but Realistically, we plan on keeping this in our family for a long time. Who knows? Tyler is going to be driving before you know it. Maybe it's a car we can pass down to him. I mean, it's such a reliable and a safe car. I would absolutely feel comfortable with my new 16 year old driver taking over a, a Tesla. But it definitely does have a positive impact on the overall value of your car long term. Enough talk. I am on my way to go check on the progress 
of our car and see how it's going. And uh, how fitting is it? The Uber that I get is a blue Tesla Model 3. What's up, bro? Mike. How's it going, man? What is up, dude? Nothing, dude. Just out. Dude, the place looks awesome. Thanks, Holy cow. It's a cool place to be, man. This is where your PPF journey begins. Your car comes into the wash bay where they did it the best detailed wash your car has ever got. Step two in the process would be to come to over here to get that perfect paint collection. Then the next step in your car's journey comes over to the PPF room. This is the PPF room. Nothing but PPF going on in this room. It is a completely clean environment. Now, if you have PPF on there curling or anything on there you need to remove, it comes over here, and then it comes over into one of the bays to have the new PPF applied to it. The application process is very specific and difficult. They literally have to take the car apart to do it the right way. Once that's done, they print up the PPF in their printing room. This right here is basically a very sophisticated, giant, and very expensive Cricut. In this program are the exact dimensions of every type of car you could ever possibly imagine. It gives them all the body parts that they can possibly print. It comes over to the printer, and then the printer just, I mean, like I said, it, it works just like a Cricut. It goes through, it cuts to those exact dimensions on that screen. Then it's just a matter of absolute experience and perfection, lining it up to every edge, every seam, setting it, and then just letting it heat and cure. The key element is making sure that that paint and that body finish is complete perfection before you put the PPF on. Check out the difference. You can see here, pillar right here hasn't been done yet. It's all the original paint right here. And then you come right into where they got this front fender done. Look at the dramatic difference that that is. That is huge. I mean, you can still see the metallic flakes. And bear in mind, this isn't fully cured yet. They literally just put this piece on yesterday. And look at that dramatic difference between right up here in the glossy, the normal finish, into the satin finish right here. Kept it completely quiet. We went from the gloss, we removed all the paint protection film on it. We removed the ceramic coating again, or at least knocked it down so it would stick again. And then we did the whole stacked dino mat to it. So it brought it from gloss to satin. Okay. It's awesome. I can't wait to see it. Go ahead, ladies first. That's oh my her. Gosh, that is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so the hardest part with going from a gloss to satin is actually making sure the gloss goes away. Right, so we remove most of the things that are on here, remove your cameras, uh, headlights, tail lights, and then we start wrapping over every single edge. It looks just like a whole new car. Yeah. It'll uh, be so much easier to find in a parking lot. I love it. <laughs> I can't wait to show the little guys. They're gonna, they're gonna be ecstatic. Grant, thank you so much for everything. The car looks amazing. Awesome. It was a little thing, but it made a huge impact. It's yeah, it individualizes the car, right? It makes it yeah, something it really that stands does. out. Because Teslas, you know, you get your main five colors and that's about all you can choose from. And it's long-term. You yeah. know, this is an investment. We've had the car since what, 2021? Yeah. So it's been a couple years, definitely a couple thousand miles. It was great to see how the film held up too, because yeah. you took some, you know, destroyers as I call in the front of that car. Oh man, that hood, that and, one spot on the hood was crazy. Yeah, and I, and I wonder if you, if you didn't have the film, what it would have, well, I know what it would have been like. It would have been oh, a repaint. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it was cool to see after a couple thousand miles, what it, you know, what it actually held up against. What is PPF exactly? And like, what's its purpose? What does it do? So whenever it comes to paint protection film, it's a clear film. Uh, it's about seven to 10 mils thick. Stop from those rock, ch the rock chips. Anything under about 60 miles an hour, if you're on, obviously on a racetrack, 
and you take a stone to it, or if you go and hit a tree, <laughs> the paint protection <laughs> film's not gonna stop it. Right. But it's helping out from all that. Uh, again, protecting your originality of your paint so that you're not having to go and respray the car every few thousand miles to kind of stop that rock chip look on the front. And when would be the best time to get it done? Always paint protection films from the beginning. It's okay. very difficult. I mean, you had it from the beginning and we're right. redoing it. If you had the miles you have on that vehicle now, I'd be talking you out of it. Okay. So I always say get paint protection film within those first thousand miles is the best time to do it. So we'll go and tow the vehicle, we'll pick it up. We've traveled to New York for, for uh, your subscribers. We've tra traveled to Maryland for your subscribers. You know, obviously Pennsylvania, Jersey, Delaware. So we'll go anywhere to, to pick up the vehicles for them just because we don't want the last thing we want is a rock chip to happen on yeah. your way over here. What's the difference between the PPF, vinyl, and ceramic? Coating. So the easiest way is paint protection films for protection. Okay. Ceramic coatings for maintenance. Does not stop from scratches. Very light swirling it, it will, uh, but it's really just for the maintenance side of things to make your life a lot easier and really provide a gloss level that's just through the roof. Vinyl wraps for looks. That's what you okay. want to change your color from those original five that they're giving it. If you want to make it stand out, uh, that's where the vinyl wrap comes in. But as we have a car here too, Paint protection film, the industry is now shifting over. So we're awesome. now, we're bringing vinyl wrap and paint protection film into one. So we can actually change the color of your vehicle while giving it the 10 years of protection. So the, the vinyl wrap is kind of fading out a little bit more as this colored paint protection film uh, comes into play. So obviously PPF can be a little bit on the pricey side, right? For sure. If people don't have that type of money, is there anything people can do to kind of, something that they can do to help protect their Tesla until they're able to make that investment? Absolutely, yeah. So I always say, I mean, at minimum, like you talked about the bug splatter on the front bumper. Yeah. If you can't do the whole front or you can't do the whole car, at least do the front bumper. Okay. That's gonna be where most of your debris is coming in and smacking yeah. and where you're saving it the most. You can do that for under a thousand bucks. And then they also do make ceramic sprays. So you can have a little four to six months uh, that will make your life a lot easier maintaining that car. It's not gonna stop from rock chips or scratches and swirling, but it'll at least make your life a lot easier when you are maintaining that vehicle. Is there a brand that, because I know everybody's gonna ask, well, what brand should you get? Okay. We love Reload. We also love Hydro, uh, or Hydro Light is what they call it. So it's actually, you use it during your wash process. So Hydro Light is phenomenal because you can just, while the car's still wet after you wash it, a couple spritz, rinse it off. Um, so those are the two great products that we love to use, both from CarPro. Cool. We'll throw links to those products down below. Grant and his team here, they have a channel called Shine On Network. They do, they, they have some awesome informative videos over there. My favorite series though is the Just a Tip series that we'll be doing. They are <laughs> the link. They're funny, but they they also have a really like a meaningful tip in there. Yeah. That, and it's just a quick one minute short video, but they're awesome. They're really You want to ceramic coat your toilet? Go check out Just the Tips. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll throw a link down to their channel down below too, because you guys got to check that out. All right, so one last question, because you're a Tesla owner yourself. Yep. So what are your three favorite Tesla accessories? Okay, so this is good, because I have obviously the Model 3. I'm gonna pull out what we do here. So what I've done personally to my car that I absolutely love, I did some Boston wheels on it. But they just really pulled the really look nice. of the exterior uh, together. So that'd be number one. Number two is definitely some lowering springs. Okay. So I love lowering the car and then putting some sway bars, which would be my number three. Anything you got going on? I saw uh, the big announcement for uh, Talk the tail the tailpipe. It's back. I'm excited. We're gonna make it bigger than it's ever been. Okay. For the right reasons too. Right. Uh, but we have some incredible- How are you gonna make it bigger than it's already been? You know, beer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, might have McLaren in Philadelphia coming down, like some of these, you know, to bring wow. some cool cars, Porsche of Warrington. They're, they're awesome clients of ours and partners of ours, so they're gonna be bringing some cars too. So our goal is to raise basically another 25 grand for a family, yeah. uh, all within a day, but it's not about the cars at all, which is the coolest part about tacos and tailpipes. Yeah. It's all about the people and, and, and kind of who we gotta raise money for. It, it's total unity is really the only way to describe it. Just yep. everybody comes together and they check out their cars and stuff like that, but everybody's here for that one cause of just hanging out, talking about cars, talking about what's going on, and then the fundraising part of yep. it, and it's amazing. What's the date? June 10th. Awesome. Yep, uh, with the rain date of the 11th. Well, check out Tacos and Tailpipes. Tacosandtailpipes.com, A-N-D, so tacosandtailpipes.com. You can go on there, you can check it out. If you wanna be a vendor as well, um, we have a vendor list just to help, you know, again, to raise more money. We're trying to think of how we can do that. And I, I wanna say thanks to all your subscribers. I mean, we wanna be the number one Tesla shop in, in the States if it wasn't for, you know, you and all of your subscribers always supporting us just like they support you. So That's I wanna right. say thank you to all of you guys. When you call to book services with Grant, make sure to let them know that you found it from Locka Tech. Oh, especially for that. Cause if you do, you get 10% off. As long as you say you're a Locka Tech subscriber, we give you 10% off. It's legitimately the only discount that we give here. <laughs> I don't. Like you know, you've been yeah, on the first video, uh, right? Yeah. I don't, we don't do discounts, but if you're a Locket subscriber, uh, we give you 10% off, which 
on a full body paint protection film, that's thousands of dollars. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That. Yes, it's a lot of money. I don't want to look at the discounts <laughs> we provided to your subscribers over the years because it might be a Lamborghini or ten of them. Uh, yeah, but yeah. it's it's you know we, we love providing it and giving your you know your all your subscribers a little something. In that's so generous of you, man. Thank yep. you. Cool. Thank you so much, Grant. Of course. Thanks for letting us do the car. Boys, you ready to see what the car looks like? Yeah. Wow. What? Yeah. It looks pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Can you see your reflection in it? Yeah. That's really cool. Wow. In the light, it looks so good. Thank you, Grant and the Menard Premium Detailing Team. You guys really outdid yourselves this time. It looks unbelievably amazing. I can't wait to get it out on the road more. We plan on putting a lot more miles and having it for a lot longer, and it's worth protecting the investment. And it looks amazing. It does look amazing. Hopefully this video helped you. As we said before, if you're gonna do anything and you're anywhere close to the East Coast, Menards Premium Detailing is the place to go. If you're a Locket Tech subscriber and you let them know, we left a bunch of goodies there too that they're gonna give away to Locket Tech subscribers when you guys show up in there. If you like the video, please make sure to chuck a like on it down below. It really helps with that YouTube algorithm and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe if you're new. We are so close to that 10,000 subscriber marker. We've got a lot of awesome, fun stuff planned, like a really big giveaway and some other stuff. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you in another one real soon.